from the adventures of me and BB destroying bombers. To my adventures with Doris Dogwood, outsmarting Pee Wee Sutton. To toilet talk with, well, the one and only, me. There is only one, repeat, just one, toilet, Terry. Welcome back to the Terry Way. Hope you all enjoyed the last episode, kickoff of the season. Now, let's start off tonight with something to do with... Hey Doris, you wanna do something interesting today? Maybe, I don't know. We'll let's see. say we do, ooh, aha, that gives me an idea right there. Product reviews, you wanna do that? People like coffee creamer, rich coffee creamers in their coffee. One of the best and my personal favorite brand is International Delight, of course, and my favorite flavor out of all the International Delight is French Vanilla here. While French Vanilla is my personal favorite, there are also some other really good flavors in the International Delight coffee creamer section. First, there is Here Hazelnut and Cold Stone Sweet Cream, so... Greetings, Toiletarians! I'm your host, Toilet Terry, and welcome to Toilet Talk with Terry. That would be me with tonight's topic of... Thank you, good to be here, as always. So, this episode we're gonna be discussing the topic of, watch this. Yes, two words, watch this. Uh, the next thing I saw after hearing someone say, watch this, was somebody breaking in, uh, falling their collarbone. Oh wait, 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 no. I switched, I flipped those two. Falling and breaking their collarbone. Yeah, there, that's better. It's so true though. I mean, the most common last words these days are <laughs> If you don't believe me, you, you uncultured swine. You, you know who you are. Uh, let's face it. Most of them who say, watch this, Next thing they know, they're being taped for one of those cheesy, dumb, retarded life call commercials. Help, I'm falling and I can't get up. Sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. I am so surprised that after more and more teenagers started saying, watch this, and then either ended up in life or death situations or emergency situations, that Life Call did not suggest more teenagers start using their products or more dumb teenagers start using their products. I mean, I mean they would have made a bloody fortune off of that right there, if you ask me. Because let's face it, teenagers are dumb. Well, they're smart, but dumb. Oh, but I'm sure that the reason why they didn't do it is because they knew after teenagers received this thing, they'll do anything. They'll be like, oh, I got this, so I'm safe. And then they'll go on being more and more and more careless and doing stupider things that would be more likely to cause them death or emergency situations or life or death situations. Because I mean, let's say they go jump off a cliff and once they, and let's say once they land, right smack dab on the button, which calls the police. Uh, hello? Hello? What's your emergency? Hello? No response. Oh no. We got a dead teenager. I guess it's time to stop selling these products to, to teenagers. I don't care who you are, that's the truth. 
Said as it is. Well said. Not to brag or nothing, but... I mean, let's face it, though. The phrase, watch this, does not always lead to death. It doesn't always lead to emergency situations. It can lead to about anything. It can lead people to get sick. Or, like, for example, Hey, watch this. I'm gonna eat all these tin pizzas. One, two, three, go! What will they say? Alright, watch this. And then later they get sick and barf and then whoop, it's over. Speaking of which, while I have the platform, speaking of pizza, that reminds me of a really funny story. Has nothing to do with this episode's topic, but it is a good laugh. So I heard the story of this uh, couple who got married, right? So, um, anyhow, I'm going to tell y'all the legend about this lady, right, who married this guy. The guy was normal, but the lady, she was so morbidly big. Yeah, big. She, her head looked like a small circle on, or, or a small ping pong ball on top of a beach ball. That That's what it looked like. Anyhow, um... So yeah, she married this guy, and the reason she looked like that was because um, all she ate ever was pizza. Her diet consisted of pizza and, uh, let's see, pizza, and, uh, let's see, pizza, and then more pizza wrapped in, let's see, pizza with a, yeah, kids, say it with me, with a side of pizza, yes, and so... You, you can only imagine the song that was playing as she was walking down the aisle. Um, that, yeah, that's your cue, Moto Moto, to start singing. I like him big, I like him chunky. Okay, okay. That joke isn't even mine. Okay, we're getting off track. All right, back, back to the story. The husband says to her, because he loves her and he's trying to protect her, the husband says to her, uh, honey, I, you should probably quit eating pizza all the time and maybe add a few more things to your diet because pizza with a side of pizza wrapped in pizza and lots and lots of pizza is not gonna work or else you're gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where you, you die, right? But she fussed at him and was like, No! Uh-uh. I only eat pizza. I only eat pizza. You understand? And he was like, Whoa, okay, okay. I love you. So, yeah. Then he was like, I, I don't want her to die. I care about this lady. How, how do I help her? How do I help her? So then he came up with this idea to make her eat vegetables, thinking she was eating pizza. Like these vegetables shaped like pizzas that somehow tasted like pizza, you know, and he started feeding them to her and he's thinking to himself, she will lose weight. She will not know what hit her. And then after a while of her eating and eating and eating and eating those, she finally starts to lose weight. And I'm, 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 I'm telling, I'm telling you, she, <laughs> she doesn't know why she's losing so much weight. It freaks her out. She goes to her husband and she goes, honey, I'm dying. And he goes, no, honey, you're, you're living, you're living, rejoice, for you are living. Which leads me into our next topic. Join us on the next Toilet Talk with Terry for an obese favor to continue the story of the lady and her husband. All right. <clears throat> Don't forget to subscribe for more. What's to come next is gonna be lit. Yes, that's how you sign L-I-T. You don't wanna miss it. All right. Take care, y'all. Peace.
That was pretty disgusting, wasn't it? I promise y'all this next thing is not disgusting. Now, back to analogies. Well, greetings. I'm Teddy, here with my mother, Teresa. Welcome to Analogies. This episode's topic, Hollywood stars. Clint Eastwood is a dog, while Robin Williams is a puppy. Will Smith is to Panther, while Tom Hanks is to Fox. Whoopi Goldberg is a cat, while El Ellen DeGeneres is a fish. Peter Lorre is to Wasp, while Bob Dylan is to a bumblebee. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a chimpanzee, while Jimmy Stewart is a flying squirrel. Well, that's all for today, folks. Uh, I had a big burrito last night, and it kept me on the toilet all night, which might explain why I look tired right now. But before I go see the doctor, and I get some sleep, I need some comic relief. So, y'all know what that means, or at least you should. Straight face on? Okay, good. So there was this lady at work today, we tried to shoplift a watermelon by hiding it under her shirt and she tripped on the way out the door and fell on the watermelon and broke it. She started screaming, my baby. <laughs> Just screaming and crying and I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Not bad. Wow, that's the best story I ever heard in my life. No, not really. I'm just a little senile, that's all. Okay. Good night, everybody. Well, maybe just for me, but not for y'all, but good night, everybody. <laughs>